Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, this was a lock I've been wanting for some time, and the legal lock picker sent me this lock through the post from America. Uh, please do go check out his channel. And when I got it, I thought, because it's obviously quite old age plastic that just rough handling um, with the various postal services has caused this to sort of crack and open. Then I noticed that the keys are wrapped. Now, I don't know whether that was done by legal lock picker to stop them scratching against the lock or whether it's sort of a mini challenge. I didn't ask and he didn't say, but it does make me think maybe I should give it a go, sort of out of the packet, so to speak. Why? Well, one of the questions I get a lot on my channel is when I pick a lock quickly, um, it's, oh, would you be able to do that if you didn't know the, the bitting or uh, can you start opening locks without seeing the, the you know the keys? I'm like, well, it's quite hard to do because one, when I buy a second hand lock, the first thing I do is get the key and see whether it works or not. Because you don't want to um, end up buying or, uh, or or starting picking locks where the, they don't work. And it does happen a depressing amount of time. Um, you know, more, more often than I'd like. So it's just rare I get a lock um, that either doesn't have a key because I tried to buy locks with keys or with the key wrapped. Um, the only locks which used to have wrapped keys, of course, are challenge locks, but I don't tend to really do those on my channel. My interest lies with commercially available ones. So this is a rare chance for me to have a go at an out of the pack pick with a commercially available padlock with a wrapped key. Um, so yeah, what does, it, what does it say about this? So we know that it's, um, it's a two inch solid brass body. Obviously it's got some kind of chrome plating on there. I thought it might be stainless steel. So it's hardened chrome plated steel alloy shackle. Okay. Um, hardened steel shrouded cover. Okay. Double bearing lock. I'm confused. So is there a, an outer cover and an inner brass? I, I don't know what's going on there. High security pins off the high security protection. So um, it looks like we've got spool pins in there. Kind of cool. Hardened chrome plated steel body, but then it says two inch solid brass body. I'm, I'm confused. Is it a hardened chrome plated steel body or a two inch solid brass body? I'm I'm, I'm not sure. Um, security rating on here. Is there anything there? It's a solid hardened steel body. I think there must be a bit of a mistake on this pack. Um, it says it's premium. Um, shrouded shackle, maximum security. That's all we can sort of getting out of this. It's model 522. 882. Cool. Um, so it's manufactured in China, but that isn't really an issue. Some of my favorite locks are manufactured in China. Um, I, I'll leave those keys wrapped. Oh wow, there's bits of um, plastic falling off here. Let's uh, grab a vise then. Where's my vise? What have we done with it? Try to throw that in. I'll pick it that way up. There we go. Hopefully those keys won't um, unshroud. They seem to be wrapped in quite a nice piece of thick, um, like plasticky stuff. So yeah, we'll see what goes on there. Um, and I guess, I guess I'll do top of the keyway tension. Um, will a two, 1.2 millimeter pry bar fit? Yes, it does. Can I use my uh, piece and gem? Possibly, let's have a go. Two, three, four, five, I think it's five pins. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Um, Little click on five and two and one into a bit of a full set. Four there. Pin one, deeper full set. Pin five there. Um, can't tell whether that's counter rotation or, um, or oversetting, possibly oversetting, we'll see. Three there. Five again, nothing on four. Three, let's go back to the back. That's three now. Nice bit of counter rotation. 
and we are open. There we go. So, um, I don't know how long that was actually. I, I, I sort of took my time, I didn't time myself. Just went on feel. Um, I couldn't feel too much extreme bitting there. I felt that um, there was a low cut on pin four. Um, I don't know, let's have a look. Can we gut this? No, we can't. Okay, so I, I've got some equipment out just in case you could gut it, um, but we couldn't. And let's have a look here. Okay, so it's a, it's a one, two, three, four, five, a oh, six pin. Okay, I've got that wrong, but I, um, I thought it was five pin, and therefore that's the low cut, I thought. Um, I didn't quite get the pin uh, one was so low cut. Um, I think for this type of lock, it's actually not a bad bitting when you consider we've got um, relatively low, medium, high, relatively low, medium, high. Um, it's, you know, not desperately flat. It makes me think that you could probably use um, something like a, a Bogota maybe um, to 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 open this if you if you got lucky with it oh like that there you go uh, maybe that's something I can explore uh, should we, well I, I could give it a go um, at the very least we'll give it a quick go and then see if we can hybrid pick it if we can't get it straight away shall we might as well right while, while we're on a roll um, so the answer is um, yeah, yeah, you, you can pick things relatively fast if you don't see the key. Um, it just, you know, it doesn't always work out that way. So can I use bottom of the keyway tension on this now? Well, cause, which is what I prefer when I'm uh, raking. Try and find a nice tension tool which won't slip around too much. Must um, be one. Trying to find quite a big one which won't slip around. Um, Maybe my trusty Goso wire tensioner. That's always a a good one. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, and um, I think the idea was we're going to go in there and um, see if we can rake it at all. It's it's possible. I might not be able to get this. Um, it does have security pins in after all. Uh, maybe some top of the keyway tension might work. So we started off very good. This is why I like to um, single pin pick. I, um, I, you know, a raking I find um, a little more variable. Let's have a quick go with a Bogota anyway. Yeah. No, don't think we're getting anywhere very fast. I think it's probably possible. Um, but it just shows that my raking skills are not quite on par with my um, uh, um, single pin picking skills. <laughs> uh, clearly, I've neglected my raking skills. Uh, any one last little one last little go, maybe. But it has got security pin, so it's um, it's it's not supposed to be easily rakeable. So I'll give it that. It, it's it's definitely um, a lock which uh, does protect against somebody just you know wiggling a bogota around inside it but um yeah um, i guess overall not um a wildly secure lock okay i'll give up on that one um cool well i hope you enjoyed that video um i think that i do prefer single pin picking just because i do have that level of control over these uh, a lock like this um it's, it's just sort of nice and it was really cool but whether by accident design or, or maybe ace hardware actually do that normally i don't know do they did Ace Hardware put these on the keys? Either way, um, I, I love the fact that this was shrouded so I could actually have a, um, a, a proper uh, pick on these. Uh, that was really cool. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you all next time.